Right up here, we're going to do something fun. Let's go look at that Butch Cassidy signature that he left down here in the late 1800s. He used to camp down here to hide out. Down here in the middle of nowhere. Kind of a hidden little spot. It's become a little more popular over the years. I guess a couple of hundred people know about it. I showed some people and they started discovered this back about oh, 20 years ago. Looking for rocks. take a trip right down this draw. I'm out here on the desert. I always park on a hill. Just in case my battery goes dead. That way I've got a second option at starting it. If I was in an automatic, I'd be uh, in trouble. So anyway, we'll take a walk down here, give this a look. A lot of holy boulders down here. And it looks like somebody's had a heck of a time getting back up the hill on their wheeler or whatever. This is why you don't want to be in these areas during flash floods. As you can see, well, look at that pretty little piece of jasper. The washes here on, on the desert are full of this type of material. Really nice. But, not for me today. There's the light colored jasper. The yellow jasper, the red jasper. Sometimes fills up these washes. Good place to rock hunt if you're just looking for jasper. Guess you could say we're spoiled. We have way too many rocks. <laughs> too many pretty rocks. A lot of people, and me too, have come out here and collected these holy boulders, I like to call them. They're beautiful for yards. Now, wouldn't that make a yard piece? About five feet high, just full of holes, making a big planter.
Now as we're walking here, you can see this Curtis formation over here. The banding in it, the different layers of geology and sediments pouring in here over the years. Now we're we'll walk down this hill. <clears throat> Once again, sorry about the cold and pneumonia or whatever the heck it is I have. Looks like the rock is still in place. I hope it's still in place. I hate to think somebody took it. Right now, it's looking like somebody might have. There it is. You can imagine back in the late 1800s, if you was hiding out from the law, well, this would be a great place to do it. And butch and buddies come right up in here. Hide out. I ought to bring a metal detector down here one of these times. What a perfect place to hide out. You can hear people coming. There's only one access, and that'd be up that wash, and that'd be a stumbledy bumbledy or down the wash. But right here. As you can see, is Butch's name. And you can see it sticks out from the rock showing its age. And it's B U T C H C A S A D Y. The Y is almost gone. See how he'd use the charcoal to do it. Just an awesome, awesome, awesome place. Very real. Cool place. And then other people have to come in and sign their crap on here. People are so disrespectful. It looks like this is getting ready to fall off too from the cracks in above it. That'll be a sorry day when Butch's signature is gone. Time takes its toll on everything and everyone. You just picture, picture Butch and his bunch hiding out underneath these rocks. Had a little fire, wrote his name up there. And I guess it's not an actual grease, it's in charcoal. It's preserved the rock so it sticks out from the rock. There's some other places around that I've seen he has his name written, but that's just an amazing thing. Well, back the same route, back the same route into the truck. See what else we can do for the afternoon. Maybe get lucky, huh? Yeah.